Hi, this is Nacho Average Interview. I'm your host, Gabe. This week, we'll be discussing the political divide at Northampton High School. I'm joined by Drew Clock and Willa Siffle. Alright, so uh, first things first, we're just gonna, you know, you can chow down on some nachos if you want. I'm just gonna get to know you a little bit. Uh, so, how many years have you each been attending school here? Three and however many months we've had in school. Yeah, same. Alright, three, two, let's go. Oh, no. Oh, it all hit me at once. That's how it goes. Yeah. <coughs> All right. <coughs> so I'm gonna get into some of my questions here. Um, right off the bat, do you think pineapple belongs on pizza? No. Um. Um, I'm gonna say no as well. No. Yeah. Why not? Cause it's sweet. It's a fruit. And pizza's not sweet. Pizza's pizza. <laughs> that's true. No, that's actually a really fair argument. Uh, so, what are your thoughts on the 2020 presidential <coughs> candidates thus far? There are too many of them. Too many of them? Yep. Do any of them stick out to you as, like, possible contenders for our current president? Democratically, Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders, only two real options, I think. What about you? Um, in terms of, uh, Presidential candidates. See, personally, I'm not a huge fan of Trump. Not really my guy. Um, so basically, any of them for me would really be better. Personally, I I mean I haven't really decided which candidate I'm for yet, but I do like Elizabeth Warren a lot and Bernie. Not a huge fan of Biden. And I feel like he's also not super presidential sometimes, and what I've seen from him so far in terms of debate questions. Right. All right. Um. Yeah. What do you think happened to Jeffrey Epstein? Mm. Um, the Clinton. Should marijuana be legalized on a federal level? Yep. I agree. I think that yeah. there's the amount of incarceration, the mass incarceration, also like, like racism that comes up with that incarceration that happens because of like ma marijuana possession and use, and um, it's really just like it's really bad in our country and uh, legalizing it is like a step forward so like mm -hmm. it's definitely um yeah i don't know i think it's just a waste of time any police work that goes into finding a guy with a gram of pot in his car like oh you can't have that and then you waste everybody's time making you wasting the judges time you're wasting the guy's time you're wasting your time you're just this little plant that you found in someone's car um all right chocolate or vanilla ice cream vanilla yeah I don't eat chocolate. I hate chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Do you think assault rifles should be legal in the United States? <sighs> Semi-automatic. It's why not? Fully automatic and bump stocks. Absolutely not. Those are like the terrible killer weapons, and those shouldn't be allowed. But I think semi-automatic weapons. Everyone has their guns are rights. It's yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I personally really. Very, very strict. Like, um, legislatures have definitely rifles of pretty much, again, like, I'm not super, like, read up at all the nuances of it, but if it is a, a weapon of, like, mass destruction, basically, like, I don't think they should be allowed, like, without, obviously, like, it was just repeated over and over again, but we see everyone talks about mental health, they talk about video games, they talk about all that stuff, but the more we talk about it, the more that. Oh, there are more like services provided. It's not changing the fact that their schools are still being like shot up in our country, and people are getting killed for what they believe in, and their backgrounds, what they look like, their race, their uh, religion. It, it's. I don't think that's going to change unless mass mentality is not going to change immediately. So what you got to do is got to prevent that mass destruction from happening from like really comprehensive legislature. Not so that's why I, I believe in. Very strict gun legislature. I don't know the point that everything should be banned, but I definitely think that like automatic rifles should be banned. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, under what circumstances should abortion be legal? 
uh, any and all. That's personally, I believe that um, in, if abortion is not legal for women, first of all, that's controlling a woman's body. Often these legislature is made by men. And I know we hear this rhetoric a lot, but I fully believe it. And I think that it's hard to understand the feelings that accompany, like it's not a choice that people want to make, you know? And I think that um, people often don't see that they're like, oh, women just, they don't, no one wants to like kill the thing growing inside of them basically. So, but it's, it's about like, you have to make that difficult choice. And also it's, it's not a child yet. They don't have like, the sense is to understand and um, what is happening. So I don't think it should be, I think the women's life cause should be prioritized over um, the unborn uh, fetus, you know? And um, also if abortion is made illegal, we're gonna see more arise in, um, at home, like coat hanger abortions, we're gonna see that's really dangerous and it's much more detrimental to women's health and the health of our population too, because if, I don't know. Personally, I just I don't really see it as um, an option to limit it at all. Um, but yeah, that's my own opinion. Uh, yeah, I don't think it should be illegal, but I don't think it should be government funded. Um, it, like I I get that it would definitely be uh, if it's a medical issue, like if having this this baby would kill you if do it like something like that like that would definitely be a circumstance where you could go find help at a hospital or something like <clears throat> but in circumstances where it's like slip up not ready to have a baby i feel like it's the mother's like not trying to say fault but like uh responsibility i guess yeah um and I understand where you're coming from there, um, but I also, like, so often we see when, like, if the mother is forced to have this child, then, like, what's the father's role? He can just walk out. He doesn't have to carry this life for nine months, and, like, it's... Good. More often than not, uh, fathers that walk out, like, definitely pay child support, and definitely... Yeah, but it's, it's a different... It's a different case, because... Um, you're not having to, it's having, I don't know, being pregnant for nine months is not the same as like um, paying child support, I would say. And like, I know like there's still options to give it up for adoption, but you're still being forced, your body's not your own at that point, someone else is controlling it a little bit. That's what I see it as. Um, and I don't think, yeah, I think that's also the mentality of like, I, I don't want to, you're not saying this, but like, People are like close your legs. Like, why'd you get pregnant? Why did you wait till marriage? It's back back to this culture of like shaming women for expressing their sexuality, and um, you know it all ties in together. There are nuances that I don't understand, but I personally think it's gonna. It's this. It's a culture of blaming women for their own. Like, right. Yeah. That's what's up. Oh my god! I just got hot sauce all over my hands. Ooh, not yet. Um. Have any ideas? What do you think oh, about what's going on in Hong Kong right now? Yo, let's go, those Hong Kong protesters. The what do you think about the impeachment trials of Donald J. Trump? Do you want to go first or should I? What? Oh, um, I don't think he should be impeached. He's done some shady stuff. Not gonna lie. But, uh, no, I don't think he has any impeachable offense. I think it's more of a nothing sandwich than the Mueller report. Um, interesting. Yeah, um, I do think he should be impeached personally. Um, so I feel like uh, the whole Ukraine scandal is pretty illegal and also pretty compromising for our country um, and also the integrity of our elections. And I really, I don't know, along with like some of the other shady business deals that he has been in, like, plus, yeah, it's not being. And you can't impeach someone for not being presidential, obviously. But like you, I feel like he's kind of warranted himself and then, or got it, got, he self-inflicted that. I don't really feel bad for him or anyone in the Trump administration because I feel like it is deserved. You feel it's justified? Yeah. All right, fair enough. Just go. Um, I'm just gonna get all I'm gonna go with glass. Okay, okay. Oh,
Do you want to show it to the camera? Shut up, Mr. Heaney. To do it, do you want to show it to the camera? What? Do you want to show it to the Oh, shit? yeah. This is hot sauce from the Hot Ones hot sauce. All right, are we all ready? Uh, three, all right. Wow. Mm. <sighs> Alright. Well, I think that's going to wrap up our show for today. Thank you both so much for being on. Thank you, audience, for watching. And you will catch us next week. Stay spicy. Are we good? Yeah.